Uh, joining us now is Dr. Robert Citrenberg, Executive Medical Director of Infectious Disease and Prevention at Advocate Aurora Health. Good morning. Good morning. So we know that COVID is easier to get, generally not as serious as it was. Should everybody be getting Paxlovid immediately if they get COVID, or is that just for people who are severely compromised? Well, Larry, really, uh, the studies have shown that it really is only beneficial in people, typically older adults and those with underlying medical problems. It really doesn't have too much benefit uh, for others in terms of shortening the duration of illness. There's some data now that that people who take Paxlovid might have a lower risk of getting long COVID, but still it's only recommended for those who are older and who have underlying medical problems. Uh, it seems like a lot of people are getting the flu. I don't know if that's because, you know, people were inside for so long and it's really ramping up this year, or is the flu vaccine just not as effective? Or, you know, those are always seem like you never know what the mix of those is going to be. Um, yeah, Robin, it's an early flu season. We expected it because of what happened in the Southern Hemisphere over our summer and their winter. And it's uh, come true that we've had an early aggressive flu season. Right now, at least, it looks like the flu vaccine is pretty effective against the strains that are circulating. Uh, the problem is that the, the, the demand for flu vaccines is down considerably in, in our population. And a lot of it has to do with the COVID vaccine controversies and, and people no longer want to get any kind of vaccines, including flu vaccines. So they're still very important. And, you know, we've kind of become numb to the fact that COVID for most people, if you're healthy and you've been vaccinated, is a pretty mild illness. The same cannot be said for flu, which is very severe. Hospitalizations and deaths from flu right now are up uh, considerably over historical standards for this time of year. So, uh, even for people who aren't really afraid of COVID, they should still be concerned about the flu. And what about, everybody's hearing about RSV, but I don't think they understand much about it. No vaccine for that, uh, that, that people can get. What do we do to prote protect ourselves? Yeah, the RSV is, has been around forever and it, it can go in cycles. It mostly affects small kids, infants, babies, uh, can affect some adults as well. Uh, there are no currently approved vaccines for RSV. I guess the good news is there are a couple in late stage trials and it's quite possible that by our, our flu season next year, we will have RSV vaccines available, at least in some population. But you know, our children's hospitals, not only locally, but around the country are overwhelmed right now with babies with RSV. And you know they die from it too. It's a very serious illness. It shouldn't be taken lightly. We tell parents of, of young kids especially to get medical attention immediately if your child has symptoms, uh, respiratory symptoms that could be consistent with RSV. So it's really, uh, it is not a mild illness in, in many kids. And unfortunately, as you mentioned, there's no vaccine right now to prevent it. Real quickly, if you want to get the COVID booster or the flu vaccine, will you be uh, safe for Thanksgiving or is it too late for that? Um, it's, you know, it's never too late. You should definitely get the COVID booster. There's a couple of new studies that came out from that uh, Moderna and Pfizer both released some data that their, vac their new booster works better uh, in generating antibodies than the old one. It's never too late. Uh, but I think the single most important lesson is if you are sick, don't go. You know, gotcha. that's hopefully something we've learned over the last two and a half years. If you're sick, stay home. You can uh, go next time when you're feeling better. All right, Dr. Citrenberg, we appreciate you joining us. Thank you. Thanks, doctor. Paul, check of the weather. Yeah.